Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel and welcome to my full week of eating. Uh, so I filmed this a few weeks ago now. I didn't film an intro or an outro per usual, so here I am introducing the video. So in this video, you'll see a full week of eating. I started it on Wednesday, April 7th and ended it on Tuesday, April 13th. What I eat in a week, um, I don't eat the same things every week. A little disclaimer there, this is just what I happened to be eating that week. I do change things up a little bit um, on a day-to-day -day and a week-to-week -week basis. You'll see as well that I have a number of staple meals that I keep in my diet for the week. Um, just super healthy, super simple, super easy meals. Um, sometimes I'll have a few treats here and there as well because hashtag moderation365, hashtag 8020 lifestyle, hashtag all foods fit, blah, 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 blah. You guys know the drill, hopefully by now. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this full week of eating. I hope it gives you a few ideas for meals that you could add into your diet. Don't forget to give this video a like, a thumbs up, um, comment down below, share the video with your friends, your family, and most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. We are trying to grow our channel. We just want to reach as many people as possible, help as many people as possible and by liking, by commenting, by sharing, by subscribing. Um, it just helps us do that. So thank you guys for all of your support and hope you enjoy the video. Hey guys, this is my pre-workout meal. I just had my coffee. I'm gonna have two plain rice cakes with one tablespoon of peanut butter spread between the two of them. I'm gonna go lift chest and biceps in about an hour. I've got three meetings I have to attend before then. They're pretty short. Hopefully the last one doesn't take forever. Sometimes it can, which is okay. But I'm gonna lift and then I am going to come back. I'll probably just have a protein shake because I have a lot of work to do yet today. Oh, I was gonna mention, so yesterday and Monday I worked out at 7.30 a.m. in the morning and I freaking loved it. I got it done and then I could just focus on getting other stuff done that's not related to lifting, which was the best feeling ever. I felt like I had like so much daytime to do things and I think I'm gonna start doing that more regularly uh, for now. I'm gonna eat this, get back to work, and then probably will not see you at the gym but I'll see you for my next meal. One eternity later. Okay, my lunch today is the leftover salad that Colin's aunt made for Easter. So good. I think she said there was arugula, bulgur wheat, pine nuts, cherry tomatoes, sliced radishes, which I thought was a super cool addition. Usually I totally forget about radishes. Um, but they're awesome in this. And then she tossed it in a garlic, yogurt, and lemon dressing and then added some lemon wedges on the side to squeeze over top and then I just added my own air fried shrimp for some extra protein oh and I forgot the goat cheese she added some of that too which I don't know if you can really see it it's probably underneath all the stuff but so good I'm probably gonna ask her for the recipe because it was bomb and I loved it and it was just super unique and I need to branch out I make a lot of healthy simple and easy meals and I'm sure this wasn't that difficult to make but it's just so creative and I feel like my meals are starting to get a little bit boring and I need to make them prettier but also just more interesting overall and I love to cook I just need to make more time for it so this is what I'm having for lunch today I'll probably have a piece of naan on the side just for some extra carbs so I'll show you that
Hej. Okay, I've got my pancakes for breakfast. I mixed what I had left of the Trader Joe's buttermilk mix with some Kodiak cakes. It's so funny, after I spray the pan and pour the batter on, this is what comes after that. But then if I don't spray the pan, you get better looking pancakes. Sugar-free syrup. And I'm also going to have this pineapple good culture for a little extra protein. With my breakfast, I always take my multivitamin. This is the brand that I get, made from whole food sources. I wash that down with a glass of water. Whew. Anybody else hate swallowing pills? These things are huge. I don't know if you can tell, but they're always, they're so thick too. They're just so hard to swallow. I always feel like I'm gonna choke, but I like what is in it, so I'm gonna keep taking it. Okay, time for meal number two. I just made something super quick. I have to lead a live stretch break in about 25 minutes. So I'm gonna see how much of this I can eat now, and then I'll save the rest for after that. So what I have here is just an Oro Wheat Sandwich Thin with some deli turkey slices from Sam's Club. Yes, Sam's Club. Just the honey roasted turkey. And then I also added, I'm trying to open this up without dropping crumbs everywhere, but I added one Laughing Cow Swiss Cheese Wedge. They are super good and a super quick option for sandwiches. I love them. One wedge is like 50 calories. I think it varies depending on what flavor you get, but super simple and they're so good, very creamy. And then just for something on the side, I have one serving of this pub mix, which I think is pretzels, knockoff Doritos, Cheetos, and Fritos. Colin's grandma put that in our Easter basket. This reminds me of the munchies mix with, I think there's cheddar, harvest cheddar sun chips, Doritos, Cheetos, pretzels, and I thought there was something else. Let me Google this. My laptop's right in front of me. Um, like the mini versions of all of those things. Oh my gosh, I would snack on that as a kid. I would literally probably eat like half a bag, if not the whole bag in one sitting. But we used to buy that all the time. Uh, okay, so it is only Doritos, Sun Chips, Cheetos, and pretzels, but oh, that mix was so good, and this is what that reminds me of. It's basically the same thing, but the uh, Sun Chips are swapped for the Fritos, so I'm excited. All about that healthy balance, right? 80-20 lifestyle, 80% of the time focusing on whole nutrient-dense foods, and then 20% of the time fitting not-so-nutrient-dense foods into your diet, like something like this. Moderation 365, that's what I preach, it's what Colin preaches, it's what we're all about here. No restriction, no elimination, all about eating healthy to fuel your body physically, but also to fuel your mental and emotional and spiritual self as well. So that's what I'm going to eat real quick. And then I have to teach two classes starting at 5, I'm done at 6. And then I'll probably snack on something before I get to dinner. I'm so weird. Since the turkey is bigger than the bread, I like to eat the turkey that's around the bread before I bite in. I ask anybody. I'm like the weirdest eater. And then I'll pick apart some of the bottom bread that has most of the cheese on it. And then I'll just eat that plain because I feel like if I just eat it like a normal person would eat a normal sandwich. 
Like you don't get the full flavors because there's only one cheese wedge. I don't want to add to you. That's a little bit too much. And I just like tasting each flavor individually. I don't know. Comment below if you're the same way as me. I am the weirdest eater. Like I have certain ways that I eat different foods, but whatever. <laughs> this is a no judgment zone, right? Right. I'll take a normal bite just for you guys. Mmm. Good stuff. Look terrible. Just got done teaching two classes and I'm hungry. So I'm gonna have a snack before dinner. I have my fish thawing over here. Can you see that? I'm having tilapia tonight for dinner. So I'm thawing that so I can air fry it. Colin is over here having some, what are you having? Tuna, rice, and then what am I throwing on? Cilantro, lime, what's it called? Cilantro. Uh, crema from Hair Days. They just released it. Yeah, I'll show you guys in a second. Okay, and I'm gonna just Perfect have delicious. one serving of this birthday cake popcorn. I don't think I would buy this again, but it's kind of good. Actually, it kind of tastes like kettle corn. I definitely like their original popcorn better, but this is not that bad. And they use red radish color, spirulina extract, turmeric extract, radish juice, and cabbage juice for the color. Like, how cool is that? But look. I don't know if you can see. I'll try to find a speckled one, but it literally is speckled like birthday cake. You see that? Yeah, super cool. You guys, this is what it's really all about, though. <laughs> mm. Focus. Is it focusing? It's focusing on my face. Oh, there we go. Boom. Best stuff ever. My favorite sauce. Um. Anyway. Especially on this. fish. <laughs> I'm still talking. Anyway. I'm so excited. <laughs> Hi. Anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this before I make my healthy dinner. Come on, try one of these. What? Try, try one of these. Oh. You don't like it? No, I'm just kidding. It's pretty good. <laughs> not a big kettle corn guy, though. Yeah, he's not a sweets person. He's a savory person. That's what the crema looks like. But he mashed it all together, so. I made my mash. My next little snack of the day. I had to be here for this. <laughs> it's gonna be something I've never tried before. Um, this is Kemp's Bold Cottage Cheese and the flavor is bacon cheddar. A while ago, probably over a month ago, I had seen like Kemp's had released like these crazy ass flavors. One was jalapeno cheddar, I think, and they had that one at the store, um, bacon cheddar, and then the third was I forget what the third one was, but there were three of them. 
and I have never, ever, 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 ever heard of these flavors in a cottage cheese before. I know people eat it savory. Like I, in college, I used to sprinkle like salt and pepper on it and eat it that way. They mix it with like edamame and other vegetables and stuff, but um, I have not eaten it in a savory way since college. Anyway, we saw these at the store and then called me to get it. <laughs> yeah. I don't so think I, I would did. like it. I don't think I'm gonna like it either. Like the thought of this makes me want to gag. I just wanted to see her eat it. Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna try a little bit. If I hate it, I'm not obviously not gonna eat it. Nine fat, 12 carbs, 25 protein. The ingredients are pretty long. Probably not some not so good stuff in there. Yeah, we. I needed to try this on camera. Oh! oh what the? I smell it. it. Smells like bacon cheddar. Oh, that smells terrible. Oh. It looks so gross, you guys. Bottoms oh. up. Oh, <laughs> I can't do this. Uh, Ew, okay, okay, okay. I'm oh, not like it's a... Like, it's liquidy. I'm not like a huge cottage cheese fan. Like, just regular. So the thought of adding a bunch of stuff like this... Oh. Okay, have a bacon piece in there. <laughs> I literally don't want to do this. You have to. Oh my for God. the viewers out there. Okay, here we this go. This is for you guys. Here we go. <laughs> just go, you just gotta go. I need like something to chase it. <laughs> just go, just go, just go. <laughs> what if you just love it? Well, she's not making a like crazy face, so that's good. It literally tastes like bacon cheddar. Is it good? It kind of tastes like cheesy potatoes in like a not so good way though. Yeah, you, like that, you want me to try no, it? No, I don't you want have to. to. You can't make me. You have to try it. I don't want to. Okay, give me a spoon. Like would I buy oh. this again? No, I wouldn't. Mmm. Isn't it? <laughs> huh. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Oh my gosh, you guys look what it says I'm here. I'm just weirded out. Great for lunch. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not as bad as I thought it would be, mm. but like it just it weirds you out knowing what it is. Uh, I don't want it anymore, I'm throwing this away. Yeah. Never get that again. Oh, gross. Okay, well, we thought it would be fun to do this little taste test for you. <laughs> we did it. So, if you tried these and you like them, let me know. Like, do you eat these plain? Oh. Or, like, do you like, mix just, them with anything? Just like. It just looks so bad. It's so, like. Like, watery. Oh. Like, I like my cottage cheese thick. You guys, good culture is the only cottage cheese I will ever eat again. This okay. is gross. Okay. I gotta go eat something else <laughs> to get this out of my mouth. Me too. Ew. <laughs> Can't eat something sweet to get that nasty taste out of my mouth. So. With the cake popcorn, I'm gonna do one serving of this, and then I'm also gonna do one serving of these mixed nuts, which is basically peanuts and almonds. It's supposed to have hazelnuts, cashews, and pecans in there. Really, they give you like one sixth of this jar full of those, and then everything else is just almonds and peanuts, which whatever, I guess. <laughs> I'm just going on a tangent now. I'm not super hungry right now, so this will be perfect. All right, next meal or snack is this Too Good yogurt. This is lemon flavor, and I think they came out with it maybe a month ago, and they only sell it at Target. This lemon flavor is exclusive to Target. I'm crouching right now. My legs are so sore from yesterday's glute ham workout. Uh, I 
just about fell there. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna try this. I haven't tried the lemon flavor before and I'm a sucker for lemon flavored things. Mmm, that's pretty good. It tastes like a very light version of lemonade. Not too sweet, not too tart. The texture is bomb. Look at that, it's so creamy, so smooth. It's a 10 out of 10 from me. Mmm, so good. Okay, I'm gonna eat this and then something else. I don't know what, I'm not super hungry. That breakfast honestly like kept me full for way longer than I thought it would. But I need to eat something else before dinner, something quick, something easy. I have a lot of work to do, so. All right guys, but you can't guess what I have in here. <laughs> Just kidding, <laughs> it's kind of obvious. Okay, so tonight I'm having ramen. I haven't had ramen in a long time and I still have a big box of it from last summer, 2020. My mom bought a crap ton of it and they didn't want it so they gave it to me. I still have a lot left down there, but it's very convenient. It's a very easy way to get in some calories. And I'm behind today, and I'm also freezing. It's 68 degrees in here, and I am not meant for winter. Not really meant for summer either. I like 70. 70 and sunny. Sunny and 70. <laughs> anyway, this is the ramen I'm using. Not the healthiest option, but not the worst option. I am gonna dress it up a little bit. I'm adding some chicken, so I've got, ow, I'll just burn myself. So, I will have protein in there, adequate protein. This actually has 10 grams of protein by itself, which I did not know that. And I'm going to also add some vegetables because I need some micros in my life today. I added half the chicken to the bowl, and then I put the other half in here underneath a pile of veggies. Protein, carbs, fat, micronutrients, and... A crap ton of sodium. Doesn't this look delish? Good source of protein, fat, carbs. I think there's about 40 grams of protein in this meal, which is awesome and much needed after a bomb lift this morning. I lifted back and triceps, finished with a 20 minute cool down on the treadmill. I'm hangry, time to eat. Look at how good this looks. I have some red onion and chicken and some homemade guac, AKA it's just mashed avocado, salt, pepper, and Tomatoes that I didn't do a very good job of dicing up. <laughs> uh, pico de gallo, and then some white rice down there. I wanna eat this and then probably have a little chocolate or something for dessert. I don't know, I haven't been super hungry today. 